Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a few cases in front of me. And actually we're gonna be taking a look at this one. So I'll share more about it here in a second. But today we're, we're looking at later case. Big fan of Lou, big fan of Unbox Therapy. And I'm actually a big fan of the phone case he's designed, which is called later case. So I've bought these for my iPhone. I've bought these for my Google Pixel 5a which if you wanna see that case up close, let me know and I can do a video on that. I haven't done a video on the Google Pixel 5a case yet, but I really love later case for its thinness, for the softness and the feel in the hand. All around great case if you're not concerned about protection. So obviously you're not getting any drop protection uh, with a case like this. But today we're gonna to unbox, take a close up look and compare against the other cases I have, a new limited edition midnight colorway. So let's get this thing out of the box. Let's take a no close look. Let's talk about what you need to know if you're considering buying this case. All right. So here is the box. And first things first. actually, hold on, let me zoom out. All right, there we go. First things first. One thing that I'm noticing is, and this is kind of a nice touch here. So I'm just going to talk about, you know, if you notice, this is the new version of the case, the Midnight. And then if I look at the box on the original case, it's the Cyber Edition, you can already see they've actually updated the images on the box. So I was wondering that because if you notice, that says Cyber Edition, that says Cyber Edition. Now I guess it does have the black color, but it doesn't say anything about the Midnight colorways. So I was kind of wondering, did they just, you know, repurpose boxes? But if you notice, they did actually update the box. So I think that's a nice touch. So, you know, when somebody does something like that, we should, uh, you know, recognize that and give them a little bit of credit for, for doing that. So by the way, I am fil filming this on my Google Pixel 5a. So I just, uh, I thought I would try something a little bit different this time around. So here is the back of the box, ultra thin, 0 0.6 millimeters. Featherweight, only 10 grams, superior texture, that's talking about the aramid fiber or the carbon fiber type of case, and stronger than steel. Same thing, the carbon fiber is stronger than steel. So really what they're talking about is the case itself is made of, you know, high quality aramid fiber or carbon fiber materials. Now this is the, the original case, and I believe the Cyber Edition refers to the cutouts are instead of it being just an open camera bump, they actually have uh, built-in cutouts for the actual camera lenses themselves. And you know, it's a, it's a nice case. Super thin, obviously. So you're not getting a lot of drop protection here, but overall, nice case, super soft feel in the hand. That's really the biggest thing I love about this case is really the feel. It just feels really nice and soft in your hand. All right, so let's open up the Midnight Edition here. There we go. And inside, just to show you the inside of the case. Doesn't come with a lot. You get a little bit of information right here. I think it's just repurposing those numbers from the back. But then also, you have a little piece of foam to keep the case held in place. Twitter, Instagram, at later case, and nothing around the back. Get a little flap so you can pull this out kind of like, like a drawer, which is nice. All right, so now the star of the show, and that is the case itself. And okay, it's different. So you can still kind of see, let me see if we can get even further up close here. Here we go. So you can see the weave of the carbon fiber, the aramid fibers, but because it's black on black, it actually almost makes them look more like dimples. So if I hold these two side by side, I'm just feeling the texture here. I feel like this one feels like it has a little more texture. This one's a little more smooth, and this one definitely feels like it has a little bit more texture to it. Texture continues around the sides. And 
And then on the inside you get a light branding hit, so not a lot of branding on this case. You can see how thin the case is. And here are your camera lens cutouts. So let's pop this on because I want to talk about a couple of the features here. One of the things that I like about later case. Now I always kind of compare later case to it's almost like a D brand skin that you can take on and take off. You know, it's not a sticker, so it's an actual case, but it's almost as thin as a D brand skin. So you're not getting any protection. I know I've said that a lot already, but just to clarify, no protection here. But if you're someone who is okay with taking a little bit of risk with your phone, maybe you don't drop your phone that often, then this could be a good option for you. Like I said, the benefits are it is super soft in the hand, feels really good, almost kind of has a rubbery feel to it as opposed to a hard plastic feel. Um, and then the other thing I like about later case is the Cyber Edition. So you do get the cutouts all the way up around and raised around your camera lenses. So if you're someone who likes to put their phone down on a, on a table on its back, you know you're at least you're protected from scratches. Um, and you don't have to worry about your camera lens um, scratching or anything along those lines because it is giving you some raised protection. So if I bring that up a little bit closer here, you can see if I, as I do that, it does not interfere with photos or videos. So you don't have to worry about that, but it does give you added protection around your camera lenses, which I think is very important. But if you look at the top of the case, it's a very wide cutout. So there's a lot of the, the top rail of your phone, the top edge of your phone is exposed, but it does loop around a little ways around the front. So if you, if you do set it down like this, you're going to be okay. It does have a little bit of an edge there that sticks out. Buttons are exposed, so obviously no problems in terms of click clickiness in terms of buttons because they're exposed here so you're interacting with the actual phone which I really like that as well. I also like because I have the gold iPhone the just the accents the gold accents showing through look really nice. Um, then the bottom of the phone again you've got a deep cutout and actually this is cut out even more so if I turn the phone over here you can see where this does not wrap around the bottom of your phone at all. Now you're, you do have some protection here on the sides but this section of it does not wrap around at all. So um, I like that. You know, I like, the, I like the feel of that. Easy access to your power port. Obviously, your speaker grills are completely open, not blocked at all. And then you have your power button cut out around that. And then let's look at the screen real quick because you do get a bit of a lip. So you can kind of see that right here. There is a bit of a lip around the front of the screen. So even if you do set it down on your screen, now it's very, it's a very slight, very small lip. But if you were just setting this down on a table or a flat surface, then that is going to help protect the screen of your phone. Now I use a screen protector. I actually don't have one on here right now, but I do use a screen protector. And obviously once I put that screen protector on there, that lip, because it's so small, um, is going to go away basically. But that's the point of having a screen protector is that you don't have to worry about setting your phone down on its screen. So that is basically later case. You know, again, let me just take a look at the two of them side by side here just so you can see the different color, and the different style of carbon fiber. Get, get good light on that. Cutouts are pretty much identical between the two cases. So you can pick up later case at latercase, I believe, .com. It is $45, so it's not a cheap case. Um, it does not have MagSafe magnets built in. However, um, this does work just fine with a MagSafe charger. I've actually used this with my MagSafe charging car mount. Uh, I use an ESR MagSafe charging car mount and it works just fine going over bumps. It's never fallen off. I have no issues with it. 
because the case is so thin, you're not losing that much hold in turn that, that much in terms of a magnetic hold. Now you do lose a little bit. So for example, if I compare against this case by Pitaka, you do get this does have the MagSafe inside of it. So this Pitaka case does give you a stronger hold in terms of it being MagSafe. The thing that I'll say about the Pataka case that I'm not as big of a fan of is the rigidity of its case. It, this, while this feels kind of malleable a little bit or like a soft rubber almost, it just has a really nice soft feel in your hand. The Pataka case is very rigid. So actually, this is a good example here. I mean, it's really hard to bend this case versus this thing. I can bend, you know, very easy. You know, which probably adds to durability for the Pataka case. Um, the other thing I don't like about the Pataka case is these edges stick out more around the front, which gives you a little bit more protection on your screen, but these are sharp edges and they end up hurting my hand when I'm holding the phone. Anyways, I didn't mean to do a Pataka comparison here, but um, I wanted to give you a close up look at kind of a later case midnight edition. If you have any questions on this case, just leave me a comment down below as we take one more look around it and I will uh, answer them as quickly as I can. Again, $45, latercase.com. Um, I will say this, you know, I don't get any kind of a royalty or any kind of a kickback for orders um, on this case. So, and I bought this case myself, so they did not send this to me. So all of these thoughts are my own, <laughs> and this is real world usage. As I mentioned before, this is probably the fourth later case I bought, so I am a big fan of these guys. Um, all that to say is their delivery time is very fast as well. So I ordered this thing and within a week it was at my door. So you're going to get pretty quick, pretty quick turnaround um, if you pick up a later case. Hope this helped. Hope this uh, video helped you in your purchasing decision. If it did, hey, give me a like, give me a subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.